Well, hello, welcome in. This is, what is it? It's Thursday, August 11th. Source Guide Energy. Just for this beautiful soul in front of me. A call on Archangel Michael. Please return to sender any negative energy by thought, word, or action. I just got a new deck. Um, it looks like this. And it's like an oracle deck. I don't have very many oracle decks. Um, but let's see what the energy is that comes out here. Uh, and of course I can't see it. I can't read it, but it looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful. It says wisdom goddess of the three times. The writings of great beings have the voice of God within. That's really interesting. The writings of great beings have the voice of God within. Oh wow, so immediately what's coming to me is um, if you have been journaling during your meditation, um, you might be experiencing um, a really amazing channeling process. Um, which does like th that is like <laughs> happening for me regularly now and has been for a little while um and that's actually what i do recommend is to meditate and journal um because you will channel once you get like once you practice it more and more and more you'll notice that you'll start channeling messages um let's stop there with that oracle card and let's pull some Tarot. Let's get the golden tarot out here. Who's getting intuitive messages? Intuitive gifts I'm getting. Intuitive gifts. Intuitive gifts. We have the Ace of Coins. You have a new abundant beginning coming in. And this can be with wealth, but I'm because we're talking about channeling, because we're talking about channeling, I'm getting that this is uh this is with your intuitive gifts. Your intuitive gifts are bringing in a ton of abundance, judgment, and you are so this is new to you. This is very new to you and you're really, you're, some of you um, are seasoned and you're like, you know, I go through, but you're still, you're, I feel, I'm getting that you still also like surprise yourself, but when you are new to your intuitive gifts and you're not used to, I mean, it's kind of like you have sea legs or you're like a baby giraffe and you're learning how to walk and your mama giraffe is like come on let's go like are you gonna come already you know <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like in the beginning the eight of swords in reverse so i'm getting that like you are a little bit in your head about this um like am i crazy am am i hearing voices am i seeing things um what is touching me what is that smell like nobody else smells that smell you know things like that um and it could be like, uh, for whatever reason, I'm getting roses, jasmine, perfume, like, um, or even like, um, this is coming through. Some of you are, um, your, your gift is with the sense of smell and you are able to identify scents. Um, so like their warning smells, um, this is really interesting. So if you are, um, you'll get us you'll get a scent and then you'll be able to match that scent later on and you'll know this is like a warning you shouldn't be over there for whatever reason that is coming through if that is for you you will know okay okay let's see what we have here we have the nine of coins in the upright the seven of wands in reverse the queen of swords in reverse and um the three of swords Sorry, the Queen of Swords not in reverse. I don't know why I say things like that. Sorry. Okay, and let's just get one more to finish out this energy. One more, please. Thank you. The Five of Coins in reverse. This is great. Okay. 
All right. So as you shed your inhibitions and your um, your preconceived notions of your intuitive gifts, you are going to start to settle into like your divinity. And you are going to realize that these are tools. These are like, I mean, I, I say this sometimes on my one-on-ones that this is like, you know, you're realizing that you're a really powerful X-Men and this is like the coolest thing ever, right? And that's what's happening here with the Nine of Coins is that you're realizing, oh shit, like I'm super fucking powerful and I am, I have like these incredible gifts that help me and aid me and all I have to do is ask my guides and my angels and my ancestors for a little help. Just say, hey, can you guys come in and guide the way, lead the way, show me the way, um, make the path clear um, and that's all you got to do. So if you're not doing that, that's what you need to be doing, okay? Just call in your um, angels, ancestors, and guides and say, hey, can you please make the path clear? Please come in uh, and surrender. That is the surrender. That is truly the surrender of you saying, guide the way. I don't want to be in control. You guide the way, okay? The seven of wands here um and we'll talk about the vertical later but the seven of wands here is like you kind of still settling into like am i protected is this okay like am i all right um with the queen of swords and the three of swords let's see here you're very good at communicating you are eloquent with your words you know yourself therefore you can communicate very clearly it's appreciated however there are other people who are like she's really blunt or he's really blunt or they're really um you know what they always just speak their mind they don't care who it, you know what you are not for everybody okay um and in that way, when you realize that you are, when you are being yourself and you're speaking what's on your mind because you thought that the space was made clear for you to speak and then it is not well received, you have to understand that you are not for everybody, okay? And that you need to guard your energy, especially if you are on the path to um, higher vibrations. And I am getting that separating yourself from these people it does it, i mean it does hurt it does this has been coming through a lot and i feel like with this lion's gate portal um you know finishing up this last month of summer and going into the fall and winter months that this is this is preparing you so you are not amongst toxicity I feel like in the winter and the fall, there's going to be a really big push, like a huge um, energetic push. So it is really important for you to clear out your energy, your space, to purge, you know, of people who make you feel like you are left out in the cold. This is the five of coins in reverse. So like, sorry, the fan again, guys. Um, but... I feel like right now it is super, super important to guard your energy because if you're not guarding your energy of people who do not want you to accelerate and want the best for you, it's going to make your winter, your fall and winter much more difficult because I'm, I have been feeling um, in the energetic climate that there is going to be a huge energetic push. Um, let me shuffle these cards a little bit more. Let's get another. I'm sorry about the fan, you guys. It's just been really hot. Okay. You have the Four of Cups. 
So yeah, you're starting to listen and starting to like definitely see that the universe is bringing and source God energy is bringing in these gifts with the hierophant. You know how, and you're you're understanding your divinity. You're definitely coming into a place where you're understanding your divinity and your gifts. This one, they say, yeah, the Ace of Coins again. You're being gifted with this abundance. Your intuitive gifts are what is going to bring you your wealth. Do you remember that? Remember that, okay? Your intuitive gifts are what's going to bring you your wealth. Because you're going to listen. You're going to be divinely guided. Any more here, Spirit? They're saying go one more time. Go one more time, okay? Right here. Look at again. Release your inhibitions around you. They want me to say this again. Release your inhibitions around you thinking that you're crazy, that your gifts are not real. So some of you may be hearing voices, okay? Some of you may be having like a conversation in your head and you're like, there is another voice. It's not just me. Those are your guides. You are not crazy. You're clairaudient. Okay, you're not crazy. Those are your guides. You are clairaudient. Okay, sit in meditation and just start writing. So um, for me, I am clairaudient. And the way I use it is I, um, I sit in meditation and I talk to it. And I write down things in my journal which is actually my phone because I'm a really fast texter um, so I type things out in my phone you have the ace of cups here in reverse um, so I am getting that you are going through your healing journey and that you are like walking through 12 12 on the clock sorry 12 13 um, significant so I'm getting that you know you have been through some heartache you're continuing down this healing journey and you're still experiencing some heartache, but know that this is leading you to abundance. This is your new beginning and you've gotten that twice now here, okay? All right, my love. Um, if you would like more specific readings like uh, or like guides or tutorials like or something like, like I'm, I don't know, I'm getting like some of you are really wanting guidance on how to use your gifts, your intuitive gifts. Um, put that in the comments and I will, I will listen. I will start making more videos here, okay? I love you, bye.